This video is a preview of my code with Node course from devsprout.io. It's a web development course that uses Node.js and Express.js with a bunch of other technologies to teach you intermediate to advanced concepts with web development. So it's available right now for $10. The course is still being created, but we're releasing two lectures each week. There's over 50 lectures already available, and we have a thriving community. If you get stuck, you can always ask questions and get help from other students in the course and myself. Check it out. Again, $10, devsprout.io, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Hey, welcome back, everybody. So in this video, we're going to take a break from adding features to our search shop application, and we're going to install a tool in our code editor for Sublime Text that makes it really easy to view the output of this markdown syntax in your browser. And what I mean by that is I've been writing these markdown readme files, and this is really common in any project for developers to create a readme file that helps people to understand what the project is, what's completed on it, what some bugs are, uh, usage, installation, all that sort of stuff. And so what we want is to where we can actually view the output in a nice human readable friendly form as opposed to all of this syntax that's kind of hard to decipher. So it's going to look like this when we're done. You can see this is outputted as HTML and you can copy the code for any one of these lines for any of these steps as you're following along in the video. This will be what the next video is about adding the clear rating button to our five star rating feature. And so I've got all the code here outlined with the different steps. And so in order to get this, first you have to have the package control installed on your Sublime Text 3. So that's over here at packagecontrol.io forward slash installation. Make sure that you have Sublime Text 3 clicked right here, and then just follow these simple steps to get it installed. So once you have it installed, head back over to Sublime Text and open up a markdown file. So what we want to do is use package control to install this markdown preview package. You can go to tools, command palette, this is for Mac. For PC, it might be command prompt, or you can use the shortcut that it has listed here. So for Mac, it's command shift P. And then what we want to do is type in install and select package control, install package. So it'll take a second and then it'll give you this drop down menu. So now we're going to search for markdown preview, all one word, and just select the markdown preview package from the top and hit enter. So give it a moment, it'll install, and then it'll open up this package control messages file. That will mean that the installation is complete. You can go ahead and close this. Go back to your markdown file. Make sure you don't have any of the text selected. Just click at the bottom, because if you do, it's just going to interpret that part of the markdown, and that's not what we want. So with your cursor down at the bottom with nothing selected, what you're going to do is open up the command palette again. This time you're going to type in markdown preview. I didn't even have to type the whole thing. It's already given me the option that I want, which is markdown preview, preview in browser. So select that and hit enter, and then it gives you three options. I'm gonna select the first one, which is GitHub. So hit enter again, and there it is. It opens up that markdown file as outputted HTML in your browser, and now if you want, you can run that alongside your project while I'm doing the lecture, and you can copy and paste the code that you need for the specific features. So that's it. If you have any questions, of course, join our Discord channel linked in the description of this video, and ask us in the community, and we'll be able to help you out there. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video.